Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. I'm Ann State. We got a surprise this morning. Snow and things are getting messier now. That's right. Here's a live look outside from Hoffman Estates where a group of kids are taking full advantage of this yep. first snowfall. It looks like a snow fort with various snow men there. Lots of snow to be able to do that with. Ed Curran's here and he says this is just the beginning. Brace yourselves for more snow and even some rain and sleet, right Ed? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a strange mix that we see around the Chicago area. These early season storms sometimes. CBS2 Weather Track has your most accurate seven day forecast on air and online. Brought to you by LLB. When it comes to staying warm, our outerwear has you covered. Back live at 516, 31 degrees. And uh, let's check back in with those young folks in Hoffman Estates as they're building their snow fort. And it looks like uh, Papa Snowman, Mama Snowman, and Baby Snowman right there. They got a, they're having a lot of fun, as you can see. And who wouldn't? It's snowing. It's snowing. A lot of work, too. Mm -hmm. Antidepressants may change the tale of two storm cities in Oahu, Hawaii. It's what they're calling <laughs> the so howling cruel. storm. <laughs> Look at that. Huge waves. And of course, uh, surfers are like, hey, when the waves get big, we are there. In their defense, though, beachgoers are wearing light jackets, so it's not that warm. Now, here's our dose of reality. Here at home, we are all dealing with snowfall. But depending on where you live, you may see a little or you may see a lot. Let's get right to Ed Curran for Steve Baskerville. More to come. Yeah, it's quite a difference. You go from one end to the other. You go from Kankakee and you see rain and you go up to Rockford and snow. And right here in the city, we still see some snow around here. You've been looking at Hoffman Estates and out there we've been seeing snow and seeing kids. Uh, here's Lake Forest Oasis where you see the snow flying there. If you take a look up at the uh, street lights, you see the snow flying there at the Lake Forest Oasis. And we saw the kids uh, building the snowman out there at uh, Hoffman oh, Estates. And the snow is really flying out there. Now it's a little bit, a uh, little bit colder as you head up to the north, and that's why we've been seeing some uh, snow like this in Hoffman Estates, where the kids love being on TV and building their snowmen for us. Now let me show you what's going on around here. We do. Uh, that's the news at five o'clock. I'm Ann State. I'm Rob Johnson. CBS Evening News is next. We will see you back here at six. We leave you with more snow falling. Tonight at ten, she's a mom, a college graduate, and a convicted shoplifter. Remember, you can also watch us online. CBS2 is always on. CBS2Chicago.com. That's the CBS Evening News. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Chicago and the suburbs are bracing for the first punch of winter. Snow and brutally cold temperatures have begun to hit the area and are expected to last for the next several hours. You're looking at a live picture of Hoffman Estates where a snow fort is being built. Easy to do on a day like this when there's lots of snow coming down. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. Let's get right to meteorologist Ed Curran in for Steve Baskerville. He has our the world's largest fast food chain is getting a taste of the tough times. Jobless rates are even taking its toll on the Golden Arches. And you're taking another live look at Hoffman Estates. It is snowing there. People trying to do a little shoveling. They're building some snow forts. They're having a pretty good time, but more snows on the way and cold temperatures will have that coming up. Next ET. From anyone, U.S. Cellular, believe in something better. Snow and almost sideways. That's what happens when the snow's coming down. The winds are blowing pretty heavily. 6, 12, 31 degrees, but those temperatures are going to drop. Ed Curran with the weather coming up in just a moment. There's good news tonight for a preschool in Cicero on Saturday. Next in sports. Yeah, that's not good either. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm Rob Johnson, Ryan Baker, Ed Curran. Have a great night. We'll see you at 10. Tiger's mother in law on a gurney. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. It's 10 o'clock. Snow, rain, freezing temperatures, and more snow. It's all adding up to a messy mix. Ed Kern's in for Steve with what we can expect overnight and into the morning, Ed. 
Yeah, we have a mixed bag out there. We have seen everything out of this massive storm that's coming through the Chicago area. And what we've seen most recently is a changeover from snow to rain in many of our areas, except up to the far north where we still have some snow going on in Lake County and McHenry County. We're going to move into a bit of a dry period as we head into the next couple of hours here. And then on the back side of this, we bring in more snow and gives us some snow showers tomorrow morning. Now, along with that snow tomorrow, some very, very heavy winds that usher in colder temperatures. We're at a pretty mild 33 at O'Hare right now, but one look at regional temps and you can see the very cold air, the 17 at Minneapolis that comes roaring in here tomorrow on very heavy winds. I'll tell you how much snow we've seen already and what's on the way and where we're headed temperature wise. And it isn't pretty coming up. And it was a slushy scene in Hoffman Estates tonight. Enough snow falling to make driving a bit of a challenge. No problem for the kids, though. Snow forts taking shape without too much of an effort. But as Ed said, tomorrow could be a different story when snowblowers really get revving. The snow has been taking That's it for CBS 2 News at 10. Our news continues at 5 a.m. We will have an update on the roads, any school closings, and, of course, the forecast. David Letterman is next with Barbara Walters. I'm Rob Johnson for Ed Kern and Ryan Baker. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Simon Baker in The Mentalist, Thursday, only CBS.